All right, we are gonna do some winter camping and we are in my backyard actually. I went and bought a Mr. Heater Tough Buddy and we're gonna use that in my little small Lux Mini Peak tent. It's supposed to get down to about 24 degrees Fahrenheit tonight. We might have a little bit of snow, I'm not sure. We'll uh, cook up some food, enjoy ourselves around a campfire and hopefully stay nice and warm in the tent. <laughs> All right, let's get things going. All right, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set up our tent. Here's the Lux Peak Mini Peak. Uh, it's been a really good shelter. Uh, I've just never tried it winter camping, so let's set this up. I'm just gonna clear out a spot here. It looks pretty level. Got to sit down a little tarp first. So this is just a little emergency shelter or tarp blanket thingy majigger. And it's got some reflectants on it. So I'm hoping that'll kind of help keep me warm. I don't have the biggest of uh, sleeping pads, so this is going to be really interesting. <laughs> okay. okay, we will set up the tent. Now it does have a little inner shelter, but I'm gonna leave that out this time. I want a little more room in that tent. All right, we'll get our tent pole and we will get that tent all situated. All right, so I finally got the tent set up. It looks pretty good. Nice and tight. I think it's gonna do just great. Now we'll just go ahead and get everything inside and, and then we'll start a campfire and get to cooking. Okay, so I've got a sleeping pad. Now this is not a winter pad. So I'm just testing out to see if this Reflectix, and I don't even know the R value of this pad itself, but it's all I have. I don't have anything else yet. So 
We're gonna use what we got and we'll see how warm this will keep me. So we'll just throw this out. I think I'm gonna sleep on this side and have the buddy heater over there. At least we're gonna try that this first time. All right, we'll get our sleeping bag out. So this is just a zero degree bag. It's supposed to get down to about 24 tonight, so we'll see how this does. Actually, it looks like it opens on the right hand side. So I think what I'll do is I will move to the other side. Zero degree. It's kind of like a mummy bag too. You kind of get your head in there and zip it up. I don't know. It's not a good bag. It's not the lightest. But it's good for winter camping. <laughs> Okay, I changed my mind again. We're gonna put it right back there. That stretches the length of this sleeping bag, so. That's how I normally sleep. I just, I'm not sure how I'm gonna have the buddy heater. Hopefully this is comfortable. Ugh. I feel like I'm on a slope. slope. Maybe I can clear it out. Get too much snow in here. All right, well, we'll situate that later. Then we'll just grab the pillow. Another Teton product. <laughs> I don't have the funds for all the expensive equipment. Okay. There we go. Body heater probably fit right here. Got plenty of room to kind of keep it away. I need at least 12 inches, I would say. See if I can level off the ground a little better. Oh, there's a stick there. We'll put the buddy heater right here. I'll lay right there and I'll put my gear over here. So while I go in and out of the tent, I can kind of just move this out of the way. I've got four bottles of propane. I don't know how well this little thing's gonna do, so I'm gonna try it. And then I've got a little camp chair. All right, let's go collect some firewood. Start a fire and we've got some steak to cook.
we are going to attempt to start this fire right here in the snow. I've got some bark and some needles, pine needles. And then I also have some fat wood. So we'll just kind of shave that up and put it in there. First time ever using it. Now we're just gonna try to get a fire going, sit around it for a little bit, cook some food. That's gonna be the gist of it. All right, I tried with the uh, fat wood and stuff and I just couldn't get it going. So I'm just gonna cheat and use a tumbleweed. I don't know if it's cheating or not. I'm just, I'm not great at making fires just yet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna light it up and we will put the uh, pine needles on top. Hopefully we can get a fire going here. Always gotta have a backup. All right, so hopefully that fire will keep going and we'll be able to cook a steak. Got a nice fire going now. I had to uh, change out of my coat and shirt because I was sweating a little too much. So now I've got my nice warm wool coat on. Fleece or wool? I think it's fleece, actually. So we'll get a bed of coals going and then uh, we'll cook up our steak. We'll have steak and some salad. And then we'll get that uh, tent heating up and we'll relax and kind of check out to see how hot it'll actually get. So we've got a nice little steak here, New York. I'm gonna pull it out and we're just gonna season it up. That fire is just about ready. We've got quite a bit of coals there, so let's do that. Got some seasonings here. We'll do salt, pepper, a little salt, salt, pepper, and garlic, SPG.
I like garlic. There we go. Okay, we'll flip her over to the other side. Salt. Pepper. Garlic. Put back in there. Oh yeah. That's gonna be really good. The fire is just about there. We'll go ahead and pull some coals off of there and we're just gonna do a caveman style. Okay. We'll let those kind of just cool for a few maybe. Gotta keep that fire going. There we go. Caveman steak, man, I'm telling you. I'm I'm thinking it's gonna be really good. At least I hope so. <laughs> now you might have some coal stick to it, but that's okay. Just dust them off. Got some ash on there as well. You know what? I think it's going to add to the flavor. <laughs> Alright, we're going to go ahead and pull that off. Ooh, that's hot. Ah. Ooh, that's hot. Ooh. Ha. Ah. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to dust off some of the charcoal here. Get that off of there. Man, that fire is hot. Okay. She looks pretty good. All right, so I'm just gonna set it in here. And we're gonna let her rest for a little bit. And then I'm gonna make up a salad. So I've got a maple bourbon bacon chopped salad. I'm just going to prepare it inside the bag here. Hopefully that works. <laughs> Let's see. Get out the knife here. There's a couple things inside here that I've got to grab out. Oops. Feeding the rabbits, I guess. <laughs> okay. Looks like we got some sort of, well, I guess that's the dressing. Yeah, maple bourbon vinaigrette dressing. Got some nuts and that's the bacon. We'll just dump it in there. Oh no, I lost some bacon. <laughs> Try to salvage it. And we've got some nuts. go and then we'll just pour our vinaigrette inside there and we'll shake it up we'll just do a little bit at a time though kind of a little bit there shake it up. now I do live by a train track so you guys are gonna hear some trains tonight Some people find that soothing though.
Do a little more dressing. Just a little more. There we go. There we go. Salad's made. <laughs> Clean up my garbage. There's a piece of bacon there. Okay, let's cut into that steak, shall we? Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, mmm. Oh, that's good. Go ahead and add our salad. Oh, that's good. Add a little more vinegar. There we go. All right, there's dinner. Looks awesome. Look at that piece of meat. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. That's a really good steak. Let's try the uh, salad. Mm. That's good too. Nice vinegar, bourbon, a little bit of nuts and a little bit of bacon. Don't get any better than that right there. <laughs> mm. Man, it's so nice and quiet out here. So nice and quiet. Definitely stuffed from that steak. It was really good. If you haven't cooked a steak on just a bed of coals, you need to try it. It's actually really good. That salad was good too. So my fire's just about out. We'll uh, retreat into the tent here in a minute. Um, and we'll see how hot we can get that tent going. I've got a couple of things I'm going to show you. And, uh, yeah. That's what we're going to do. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Can't wait to kind of try out this stuff. Basically, this is kind of a test run for me. Just to make sure that I can kind of figure it all out. And Hopefully that tent's big enough. I don't know. It, it might be a little cramped in there for you guys, so bear with me. <laughs> All right, she's pretty much out. Let's head to bed. We'll get this uh, heater started up. I'm really excited about it. Really excited. All right. Let's climb in here. All right, there's our heater. I'm gonna bed down there. And I've got not a whole lot of room. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is I already got a tank on it. So we're just gonna start it up. Let's see if you can see this, okay. I'll turn the pilot on. There we go, we'll hold it for a second. And we'll turn it to high. There we go. We'll get this zip shut real quick.
Okay, so I'm not sure how well you guys can see me, but we've got the buddy heater going. And I have this, we've got snow falling off me. <laughs> oh boy, we don't want snow on here. Okay, I have this carbon monoxide detector. So we're gonna run this tonight for sure. You definitely want to do that. Everything that I've researched, I mean, the the Mr. Heater has uh, fall detection and uh, it has low oxygen sensors, but you can't trust them. You know, you you got to have at least two different ways of of telling. So it's already getting pretty toasty in here. So now what I've got is. A thermometer indoor outdoor so I got to actually go outside again and set this out there <laughs> but right now it's set on outdoor and the temperature is 28 degrees we're inside obviously and then you can click and go to indoors and it's showing 32 I think that's as low as it goes for this setting, because it's definitely not 32 degrees in here, I don't think. Um, I haven't been running the heater that long. So anyways, that is a starting point. We're at 32. We'll see how long this thing takes to heat up. I'll go set this outside here in a minute. So yeah, we got those two things. And that's about it. We're just going to kind of hunker down and get cozy. Get warm and cozy also one other things I wanted to show you is I've got this little trail cam we'll set this up before we go to bed and we'll see if anything uh, decides to walk by <laughs> you always hear crazy things at night you know when you're camping so I want to know what it is <laughs> or maybe I don't All right, I'm gonna go set this outside. We'll find a good spot for it. And we'll keep track of this. We went up two degrees just because I set it next to it. Not sure if you can see it. Hopefully you can. But yeah, we'll just keep this, I don't know where. Maybe I'll keep it over here. All right, I'll check back with you guys here in a few minutes. Okay, so the Mr. Buddy's sitting on a little cookie sheet. Because from research it said it might leak a little bit, you know, condensate. You can see the bottle's already really cold. So it might, you know, drip some water. So put it in there to kind of capture it. It's on low right now. I've got the uh, thermometer over here. We're at 36 already you want to also make sure you have plenty of ventilation with one of these so i've got I've got a big gap underneath there kind of throughout the tent and then i've also have up here i've got a little uh vent up there so yeah i mean i'm getting hot now we're sitting on low right now which is about 4,000 BTUs. We kick it up to high. We've got 9,000 BTUs. <laughs> now make sure this tent doesn't get too hot on the top though. All right, I'm gonna just set the thermometer right here in the middle. I don't really know where else to set it. I could set it on top of this, I guess. Well, that's so close to the heater. I don't know. <laughs> Wish I had a better spot. Oh, that's outdoor. This is indoor. Okay. Throw 41. Yeah. It's already getting pretty hot in here. 40 degrees, 41 degrees already. 
Um, yeah, super excited about this. I've been wanting to do this for so long. Winter camping. <laughs> so what is the cost to get into winter camping? Um, I'll tell you right now, this setup was really cheap, actually. In the large scheme of all the hot tenting uh, uh, stuff. Um, I got my Tough Buddy here at Lowe's. Or you can probably find it online. For about around uh, $70. And then this tent, the Lux Mini Peak, is $75. So you're looking at $145 to get into hot tenting. And you can camp during the winter. Well, you also got to buy one of these too, I guess. And this was $25. Bucks. I mean, so $160, $70. I don't know, roughly around $200. Bucks. <laughs> And you can get into hot tent, hot tent camping. Can't even speak. But yeah, I'm loving this so far. This is great. I'm gonna have to shed some clothes here in a minute. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna watch a movie. Not sure which one yet. We'll figure it out. I'll tell you guys when I find out which one I'm gonna watch. But yeah, just hanging out, staying warm. What is the temp outside? So the temp outside is, well, says it's about 29, which that went up from, you can hear the train now. <laughs> so anyways, 29 degrees outside, 43 on the inside. I don't know how accurate this thing is, but we'll go with it. As long as I stay comfortable. The only thing that I'm really worried about is my sleeping pad. That situation there is not very good. But I'm not gonna run the I'm not gonna run the heater all night, I don't think. I don't know if that's really safe. So it's just kind of to you know cut the chill a little bit. We'll see. Better safe than sorry though. Alright, I'll check back with you guys and a little bit. <laughs> okay, we're back for an update. I don't know how long it's been because I haven't been keeping track. But we are up to 52. So that's good. And it is 26 outside. So I've just been keeping it kind of central over here. I'm sure it's a lot colder around the skirting of the tent, but I'm nice and warm. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go set up our trail cam before it gets too late. It's already, I think it's about nine o'clock right now. So we'll get this set up. I'll show you guys that. And then we'll just hunker down, go to bed, watch a movie, have fun. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Okay, we'll go outside. Let all the hot air out. <laughs> okay. Close up the tent. Don't want the heat to escape. All right. Okay, so we're gonna be using this on a tripod. That'll make it easy. I think I'll come over here, away from the tent a little bit. So the tent's there. You can hardly see it. We'll set our tripod right here. I'll set you guys down. Okay, so there we are. It's just a little cam park trail cam. This thing's Wi-Fi though, so that's really sweet. I can use it with my phone. So we'll turn it to set up real quick. Okay. 
I don't know if you guys can see it very well. There was a couple settings I needed to change. I'll go menu. Okay, I think we're good. Got it on setting, okay. All right, so basically what we'll do is we'll turn it to on real quick. And we will close it up. And we will go access it through, I'll just point it towards, try to point it towards the tent a little better. There we go. All right. It's uh, probably looking at me right now. <laughs> we'll go get inside the tent and I will show you guys what you can do with it with the Wi-Fi from my phone. Okay. Oh boy. It is a small tent, but it is nice. Okay, so we're back at the tent. I'm gonna just show you guys my screen real quick. So we have this little app here, hunting camera app. We'll click on that. Okay. Now we'll hit uh, Bluetooth and see if we can actually start up the camera from here. I don't know how far away I am. Turn on Bluetooth. Scanning modules. Okay, so now we turn on Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is on. Now. Okay, so we hit plus. Now we can see our tent. <laughs> um, yeah, there we are. We can also change the modes to camera. I'll take a picture, see what happens. All right, let's uh let's turn off the light and see how what it looks like. Still see some light from there. Huh. Doesn't look that bright. Oh well. We will see what happens tonight. So it should uh, should capture some video if anything walks by. <laughs> there it is. That's the uh, trail cam. All right, so camera set up. I'm going to go ahead and change into my sleeping attire, get out of my boots and everything, crawl into bed, watch a movie. But I'm going to keep you guys updated here in a minute. Um, I still don't know what movie I'm watching. <laughs> so... All right, check back with you in a few minutes, half an hour, hour, I don't know how long. <laughs> okay, I've got uh, my sleeping clothes on. We are up to, well, it says 74, but I don't know, it's, it's kind of close to the uh, heater there and I've got it on high so I'm nice and warm there's no doubt about that and it is 25 outside it's starting to snow or yeah definitely starting to snow um, I can hear it hitting the, the tent I've got a little bit of condensation um, that's one thing that you're gonna run into with propane heaters is you're going to run into condensation so all right well i am going to bed down i've got a couple snacks here 
got uh, Nutri-Grain bar and a candy cane left over from Christmas. And I'm going to watch uh, The Vanishing. Never seen that movie, so it looked like an interesting one. So I'll catch up to you guys in the morning. Uh, hopefully I sleep well. I'll probably shut this off before I go to bed. And yeah, we're still looking good also on the carbon monoxide detector. Zero. Haven't heard a single thing. So we're well ventilated in here. So that's really good. But anyways, I'll give you guys an update in the morning. And uh, I'll let you know how I sleep. <laughs> All right, good night everybody, see you tomorrow. Oh man, it snowed a lot last night. That's awesome. Well, winter wonderland, it's still coming down too. Oh, better get back inside, close it up. Well, good morning everybody. It uh, is definitely a winter wonderland out there. <clears throat> the tent did really well. Um, I slept okay. Um, I, I stayed warm. It's just my sleeping mat is underrated for <laughs> this. So, yeah, I need to get a new sleeping mat. And then I think I'm going to be golden with this setup. Really, that's the only thing that I can complain about. And that's something I knew going into it. All right. Well, we're warming it back up in here. Got the little buddy heater on again. And... It is 27 out. It says it's 42 in here. Climbing. Went through one propane bottle and I'm on to the second one. I didn't run it all night. I turned it off. But yeah, watched my movie. Um, the Vanishing. I don't know. That was a silly movie actually. So, but it kept me entertained for a little while. <laughs> All right, we're going to make breakfast now. I've got just crack an egg. This is the uh, protein packed scramble. We're just going to make this up, throw it in a tortilla, munch on it, and pack on up and get out of here. All right, so. First thing we got to do is get some coffee going. We're going to do it in the AeroPress. So we'll start up. Uh, got the little isobutane and propane burner over here. I got the door fully open, so we're good and ventilated in here. Good and ventilated. <laughs> All right, let's start that thing up. Okay. Get that water boiling. Now we will grind up our coffee beans in our little grinder. Okay. 
Okay. Got to get my little filters here for the AeroPress. Should always prime them. Just put a little bit of water in there. That works. Okay. Time to grind. Fresh ground coffee. Perfect for a winter morning. <laughs> yeah, we got at least six inches of snow last night. I mean, it's, it is coming down. I didn't see anything on the trail cam. I checked it out last night. Kind of ran a couple of videos for you guys to see it, but nothing came across the path. We'll catch one eventually. We'll go to some more remote locations instead of my backyard. <laughs> I do have a lot of animal out here though. So it's not that they're not out here. Okay, we're just waiting for that water to boil now. All right, we're almost to a boil. And then we can enjoy some delicious coffee. All right, there we are. I'm just gonna shut it off. Move this out of the way. So you guys can see it. There we go. Just pour in. I'm going to give it a little bit of a stir. All right, we'll get this doohickey on there. Let it sit and marinate for just a minute. Okay, we'll slowly press it in. Yeah, fresh coffee. Oh, look at that. Nice and steamy. <laughs> Go ahead and give it a shot. It's gonna be hot. Ooh. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's really good. I love coffee in the morning. I don't know how you can not like coffee in the morning. But there are people out there. It's okay. It's okay. You can learn to love it, you know. <laughs> All right, it's time to make our breakfast burrito. So we've just got just crack an egg here. Open it up. Now this thing's usually meant for the microwave, so you kind of just add all this to it, but whatever. I'm gonna try it this way. So we'll just add all our meat and cheese into this cup. We got bacon. 
We've got sausage. And we've got some cheese. Okay, so now what we gotta do is we gotta just crack an egg. <laughs> got a little egg box here, overkill. We gotta keep them eggs protected. Okay, so. Just gonna crack an egg in there. You stay there. Okay. We're gonna do two. Make this a power packed breakfast. Cause you know I gotta go really far to get home. <laughs> I'm in my backyard. Oh, what did I do with my towel? We're just gonna whisk that up real quick. Make sure everything gets all mixed in there. Terrible sound. Terrible. All right, now all we've got to do is throw her on the burner. All right, there we go. We're going to have some breakfast burritos with coffee. Oh yeah. All right. Just gotta keep stirring it. I burned it a little bit. So you wanna make sure it's on low. <laughs> I'm learning, learning as I go. I'm just making a scramble here my cup man I cannot believe how much snow we're getting it is coming down that's awesome first time winter camping and I got a nice snowstorm that makes me happy that's looking pretty done to me I don't know how well you guys can see it All right, we're gonna call it good. We'll plate up our uh, tortilla here. Oh yeah. <laughs> Make a little breakfast burrito. Okay. So we've got our breakfast burrito here. Well, we got our tortilla, I should say. Let's go ahead and put that on there. Actually, I'm just gonna put it in my lap. Here. Try not to spill it. Oh boy. Need a table. Definitely need a table. We'll just go like this. That'll be the next thing on my list is a little tiny table. Little aluminum one. Okay, here. Man, this thing's gonna be big. I don't know if I can get all of it in there. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. All right, we'll fold up the burrito. Hold up Mr. Burrito here. Ah, all right. 
as a little breakfast burrito. <laughs> All right, here we go. Mm. Mm -hmm. Bacon, sausage, cheese, and eggs. Maybe a little bit of a burnt taste. <laughs> it's good though. Oh yeah. All right, I'm getting suited up here to go out into the blizzard and kind of check things out and then uh, start packing up to get out of here. Let's go check it out. Here we go. Oh man. Winter wonder land. Well, there's where we were. Here's the thermometer. So, yeah, that's a lot of snow. <laughs> Here's my sled. I left some stuff under it because I didn't honestly know it was gonna snow this much, but also I needed some extra room inside the tent. So we'll clean it off here. Actually, I'm just gonna lift it up. See what we can see. Hopefully it's still clear under there. Yep. Okay, we're gonna start packing that sled up. Wish I had a cover for this. That'll be the next purchase, I guess. All right, let's clean up. It is bad out there. Bad, I tell you. All right, we'll start just kind of packing everything up here. And we'll get out of here. I'll, uh, Save you guys the uh, boredom of packing everything up and I'll just see you guys here in a minute when it's all done. <laughs> Thank you. 
Alright! Yeah! <laughs> All right, finally all packed up and ready to go. First time winter camping was a success, and I thought that was a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. It's time to get home and get everything dried off as well as myself. Man, it snowed a lot. All right, well, I hope you guys liked it. I hope you had a lot of fun. Maybe learned something. I know I did. I'll see you guys on the next video.